Hi guys, I just wanted to showcase Mudbox and show you some things that I've created with it because I'm going to start delivering some tutorials on how to create things inside of Mudbox. And so let's look at some things that I've created in Mudbox or that I've sculpted and taken into Flash and uh, animated. Actually, I've taken them in from Mudbox into Swift 3D, animated them, then brought them into Flash for displaying on web pages. This one is a demon. I sculpted a demon head. Looks really cool. And look at those awesome effects, the shadows and uh reflections. Swift 3D renders out. It's great. Um but what's great about Mudbox, here's another version of that demon. What's great about Mudbox is you have the uh the ability to do organic polygon model sculpting mesh model sculpting look how organic and in detail you can get with your with your sculpting and your your uh, 3d characters it's it's sick man uh, but let's see this guy's really cool it's a guy just a, a, a model I created of a head with his eyes closed he kind of looks like uh, the dude from uh, What's that video game? Hitman. It looks like the Hitman guy. I did a good job on that one. Uh, let's see what else we have. There's him in a white background. We got a goblin. It's pretty cool. Little goblin. I didn't finish his teeth. Uh, what else? There's a little robot that wasn't uh, made in Mudbox though. This was made in Mudbox. It's a Stingray. That is funky fresh. So you can do really nice organic sculpting and bring it into 3ds Max, Maya, Swift 3D, because it renders out object files, I do believe. And uh, for importing into Swift 3D, I use. I create, I uh, bring them into Maya, and then Maya will render out as DXF, and then DXF files or DFX, uh, DXF. I think it's DXF. Dot DXF can be imported into Swift 3D, and that's how, that's how I get the. Uh, I put the disks under them in, in Swift 3D. I uh, animate them, and then I bring them into Flash. But Mudbox is where you can get the. Uh, I think that's all of them. I've got a few more somewhere, but that shows you the, you know, uh, a good example of what you can create inside of Mudbox and I'm going to be showing you in the first set of tutorials the interface, you're just getting familiar with the program and then we'll really delve into making some really cool organic sculptures, 3D models and you can bring them into Maya, 3ds Max, uh, Swift 3D, any modeling program, any any program that deals with uh, 3D objects, models, object files, and things of that nature. So we'll get to some tutorials on Mudbox real soon.